Boxing Gyms, G-E-M-S, Boxing Gyms. Check it out, study some of them videos there. The guy's phenomenal. His name is Ryan, I'm telling you. All right, you'll pick up a lot of knowledge there. Fight fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. Deontay Wilder's comeback fight versus Robert Hellanius should be a fun matchup. Let's get into what I think would be the most important factors for each fighter from watching film. What stands out the most to me with Wilder in this fight in particular is his high guard. Wilder fights with the low guard often, but it's more accurate to say a relaxed guard. When his opponents initiate offense, he either uses decent head movement or he shells up in an inactive high guard. The Boxer Jump subscribers know there are plenty holes through and around an inactive high guard, which Wilder has been punished by. Established that he was in this fight. Faints with his jab. What did I say in the keys to victory? Double jab was a key. It's keeping him at bay. Fury and a half remaining the seventh. Another. Yeah, Fury had the combination. Yeah. You know, Deontay Wilder and Fury now walking down the jab. Hellenius knows how to attack a high guard. Hellenius has a full arsenal of punches he uses to attack the guard, whether he comes around it with a single hook or he throws combinations powering around and through it. Unless the fight ends really early, Wilder likely eats some leather. However, Hellenius has a really bad habit, especially at heavyweight. He doesn't exhibit a lot of head movement when he fights, so what he will tend to do instead is use an elbow shield with the lead hand and parry away from his head with the backhand with no step back. I covered the defense before in the Crawford vs. Spence film study, but here, the consequences of his negatives are much worse. The jab parry away from the chin leaves the lead hand alone to defend the opponent's more powerful backhand. The elbow shield is simply a high shield with the glove rotating and stationary against the top of the head, which raises the elbow to a point, slightly different from holding the phone with the tuck and lean. In specific situations, typically on the inside, the elbow shield is useful, misused, and it's a very dangerous maneuver. With the elbow shield, his body is completely exposed on the side shielding. There is still an opening between the glove and the shoulder. But most importantly, you can miscalculate the trajectory of your opponent's punch. I think you see where this is going. Fight fam, this is boxing suicide against Deontay Wilder. If Elanius applies the same tactic versus Wilder and just so happens to miscalculate the trajectory of Wilder's backhand, this would be one of the most brutal knockouts we have seen in a while. Flaws and mistakes make knockouts. One of these two isn't going to make it 12 rounds. Wilder might be able to survive with his high guard, but Hellenius can't make that mistake. But I want to know who y'all got. Does Hellenius have a chance to spoil the comeback? Let me know in the comments. Peace.